Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. So today we are going to check out the Deadly Reentry mod. Yes, this is an amazing mod, let me tell ya. So, let me, let me describe what it is, really. In real life, if you ever had a big ship and you were going to re-enter the atmosphere, that ship would need a heat shield of some sort. In KSP, when you re-enter the atmosphere, normally, without this mod, your ship would be okay. It would, even though it has no heat shield, it would survive the destructiveness of the atmosphere. Whereas this mod fixes that issue. It adds some more realistic effects into the game. Which is really amazing. That's what I like about this mod. It doesn't make the gameplay easier. It makes it more difficult, but you can enjoy it at the same time. And you can get a little bit frustrated, say you you know, you go for a very long adventure and you know, after an hour's time you come back, you want to go back to Kerbin and all of a sudden your ship just disintegrates from the atmosphere. <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh, there aren't too many parts in this mod. Uh, just a couple heat shields and some decouplers. Uh, just fairly simple and each heat shield has like a different different size. And this is what this is the heat shield, pretty much the biggest heat shield I think. It's the inflatable one. It's interesting, right? An inflatable heat shield? What? It's like it's almost having a balloon and using that as a heat shield. But it's understandable. They've got some sort of uh, magic material to protect this whole ship from the uh, atmosphere. And let me tell you, the the sounds that this mod makes and the particle effects, very well done. Very very well done. It's just, when I first heard the sounds and was looking at the particle effects, it was just, I was stunned. I was like, what? I have to do that again. And it's just, wow, it's really, really cool. Um, so that's that for this mod. It's just, you know, just really getting you guys a feel for this mod. I mean, other people have done reviews of this mod, but I figured why not I'll do that. It's just a short video today. And uh, next episode, for, the, for those of you that are curious, I have some really, really interesting, funny idea using two mods that I might do. I won't spoil the idea. It would be funny if it works out. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, next episode could be a really funny one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but the issue is, you know, I have to actually learn to use some mods and or listen to the sound in the game. Listen to the sound. Wow. This is amazing! Look at the particle effects! That's amazing. See that, guys? Look at that. And two Kerbals died from the G-Force. That's fabulous. <laughs> oh, man. That's terrible. The G-Force damage. No! You do need to think about the position of your rockets. So, if you have a heat shield, you should utilize that heat shield. Oh, the Kerbals died. Ah, ha, ha. I remember that. I didn't realize it at the time. See, I, I throttled up to the maximum and turns out that, in that case, uh, because this whole craft was so small and I was using cheats in that, that instance, uh, it's just so much G-Force build up. Same thing here, look, look at the G-Force, how high it is. The Kerbals could die any time now. Uh, and there's even like a sound effect once the, the, uh, the heat shield actually gets inflated. Really cool. It's almost like a, a structure. I don't know, what kind of sound? How can I describe the sound? Anyway, you guys listen to it. You guys describe it yourselves. There we go. <laughs> um, so links in the description for you guys to check it out. Um, just looking on the the wiki right now, the forum page. Uh, I don't see too much. Don't see too much. Is it the bug tool? Hold down Alt, D, and R to enable debugging. This lets you change the settings in game and show additional information when you right click parts. Intriguing. <laughs> anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this short video uh, showing you guys this amazing mod. And yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye.